have a discussion and, pot and potential action items. Item number four, uh, consideration of a resolution submitting to the voters at the general municipal election to be uh, consolidated with the uh, statewide general election held on Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. <coughs> An ordinance adopting a transaction and use tax and a resolution uh, submitting uh, to the voters of the general municipal election to be consolidated with the statewide general election held on Tuesday, November 5th, an ordinance adopting a transaction and use tax for, pol for police and fire purposes, a staff recommendation, approve, approve a resolution. Uh, Mr. Lopez. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so tonight we'll be discussing item number four, uh, which you just summarized. I don't. I won't go through the whole thing again. Uh, but as reference, uh, the issue at hand, Merced County has informed the city that it will need to contribute seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to accommodate additional staffing needed at Livingston Station ninety six. The new staffing levels are because of directives from Sacramento. In the absence of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars from the city, and without a safer grant that the county has applied for, the county has advised the city that it will close Livingston Station 96 effective October 1, 2024. The last signed agreement between the city of Livingston and Merced County for Fire Protection Services expired in 1995. The city is currently desiring to partner with the county uh, on the submittal of a safer grant, which it has, uh, which would fund the additional staffing needed at Station 96 for a limited term. A new sales tax measure may generate additional opportunities for the City of Livingston to enter into its own agreements with fire agencies, develop its own fire department, or other alternatives that the Council may see fit. Additional background on February 7, 2023, an item was brought forward to the Council for fire staffing augmentation at a cost of $399,903. This item was pulled from the agenda that evening by previous management staff. On March 7, 2023, so a month later, Merced County informed the city that it would need to provide $750,000 of funding for the staffing. The city was provided a memo from CAL FIRE regarding changes at the minimum staffing level with no justification for the increase from $400,000. The council appointed Mayor Pro Tem Samra and Councilmember Roth to a sales tax ad hoc committee to fund to explore funding services for the additional staffing needed. Um, earlier this year, the council authorized polling the community. And then finally, on May 7, 2024, the county recommended and adopted the closure of Station 96 effective October 1, 2024. Some key dates for the council. In February of 2023, the initial staffing augmentation cost was $399,903. Uh, a month later, Merced County informed the city that it will need to contribute $750,000 in funding to keep Station 96 open. In August of 2023, the council appointed Mayor Pro Tem Samra and Councilmember Roth to the Sales Tax Ad Hoc Committee. In February of 2024, the council approved an agreement with public opinion strategies to pull the community and get their feelings and opinions on a potential sales tax measure. In May of 2024, Merced County authorized the closure of Station 96 effective October 1, 2024. In May of 2024, uh, public opinion strategies conducted its polling. And then at the first meeting in June, June 4th, the polling, the polling results were provided to the council as well as to the community. So as an overview of what the polls showed, uh, voters are split on the ballot proposal with a quarter undecided. Uh, in terms of how the pollster did the polling, uh, they did show that a majority of Democrats support uh, the, poll the sales tax measure while all other parties oppose. Uh, no issue clearly dominated with respect to the resident sentiment, but managing growth, improving education, and fighting crime were all bunched at the top. There would be broad support for the city creating its own fire department if Merced County closes the fire station. There is split on hiring a contractor. The city creating its own fire department is supported across the board. This is clearly the more popular option. 
The top item voters want prioritized is maintaining emergency response times, followed by fixing potholes, safety gear, and keeping the fire station in Livingston. City beautification items fall towards the bottom. As we discussed at the first meeting, or as the council discussed the first meeting in June, uh, there are some key policy items that the council provided direction on. A general tax versus a special tax measure. General tax requires 50% plus one. A special tax does require uh, a supermajority 66.67%. General tax can be used for any uh, lawful purpose in the city. A special tax can only be used on the items that are specifically articulated in a special tax ballot measure. A sunset versus no sunset, so meaning would there be a timeline or a date at which the potential sales tax collection would end. The creation of a citizen oversight committee, oftentimes in a lot of communities, citizen oversight committees are created to provide feedback, to gather, review revenues and expenditures and provide recommendations to the mayor and the city council. Uh, audits, so uh, depending on uh, general or special tax, uh, with the general tax, it is audit audited the same way as general fund revenue. On a special tax, um, there may be additional levels of scrutiny that could be done um, on that. In addition to that, uh, to touch on additional levels of review that uh, independent third-party auditors could do, uh, agreed upon procedures review, uh, that is a an additional level of review that can be done that clearly articulates criteria that the auditor would be looking at to ensure that revenues and expenditures uh, are being expended, again, in line with the intent policy priority of the council. Uh, mentioned the Citizen Oversight Committee, and then uh, finally, public education. Based on the polling that was done, it did show that once residents are educated or informed of what the potential sales tax measure would be used for, there is an increase in the population that seems to be in favor of a potential sales tax measure. So on June 4th, 2024, the council provided direction on the policy direction questions or the policy questions that staff provided to the council. Uh, the council directed the city attorney's office to develop the necessary documents for a potential sales tax measure to appear on the November ballot uh, the council did direct that a general sales tax and a special sales tax were developed. I know that we had one council member that was absent. Um, the council preferred to have both options available tonight to discuss and weigh in on. The council directed staff to uh, retain a firm and inform to inform to inform and educate the public on the potential sales tax measure. Again, that is something that we would solicit proposals for and then bring back to the council to approve at a future date, assuming that the council does choose to send this to the voters. Item number three, uh, council directed the ballot language crafted with data collected from the polling consultant uh, in line with uh, city attorney's office. And then finally, the council directed no sunset included in the proposed ballot items. So tonight, we are seeking council direction on the following items, uh, weighing in on whether there is a special tax versus a general tax, that's item number one. Uh, there are additional items that need to be provided to the registrar of voters, and so instead of having future items where we're asking council direction on who should be developing those, we included this tonight to get council direction on these items. Uh, these items would need to be provided to the registrar of voters. Uh, these items uh, include uh, arguments in favor of the local measure to be provided to the registrar. This would show up on uh, the informational guide that voters receive. Uh, a few options that we've listed here for the council include uh, directing the city attorney to write and develop those items. We can certainly bring those back to council to see those prior to sending them over to the registrar. Uh, an option could be to have the mayor tasked with writing and developing those items or other council members uh, to write and develop those items, bringing them back to council to review. 
uh, or the council could direct uh, another member of the public to write and develop. Uh, oftentimes, uh, depending on ballot uh, items, you could have uh, prominent members of the community, you could have uh, business, prominent business members, uh, Chamber of Commerce to develop that, write that on behalf of uh, the city. It's really dependent on what the council prefers. And then item number three, um, if there is a potential uh, argument against the local measure, it does make sense for the council to weigh in on uh, who would be tasked with uh, a response or a rebuttal that could theoretically be put out there by a member of the community. Uh, again, similar to item number two, the council could direct uh, the city attorney to develop and write that item. The council could select to have the mayor write and develop that or another member of council. Or three, um, the council could elect to have another member of the public, as I mentioned earlier, to write and develop a uh, rebuttal or response against those that may choose to oppose that local measure. 